Hello and welcome back. And uh, in this video, we're going to be talking about spring animation. So spring animation is another time curve, uh, as we discussed in the last video, but it's slightly different. Uh, basically, it's uh, it relies a lot on the uh, on the damping uh, spring properties. So basically, uh, the the effect that it creates is uh, uh, imagine that you have a an object bound to a spring. Um, when you pull that spring, uh, how does it behave? When you pull and leave it, it actually, before it goes into its own uh, position, it actually bounces back and forth. Sometimes it even goes beyond uh, the point uh, where it's supposed to stop and actually comes back, so bounces back. And depending upon how, um, how kind of, what kind of uh, spring you have so basically spring damping is too stiff in that case uh, basically uh, your uh, your object as as attached to that spring is gonna uh, go back and forth a little bit if it's too loose or too soft of a damping then it's basically uh, gonna bounce back and forth a lot before settling it to the uh, to to its end position so in today's video, we're going to take a look at a simple example that provides that uses all the default values. And uh, then in upcoming videos, we're going to see how uh, we can actually create more damping spring kind of uh, animation. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So what we can do is um, we can actually um, uh, create a couple, um, couple of state variables first. So state private var. We can scale. And then angle. Okay. All right, so we're going to take an image and basically scale and rotate uh, while animating. So system name, and uh, we're going to use paper plane dot film. Going to use the font, last title. Going to create a rotation effect with degree and angle that we have created at the top, the property that we are observing. Scale effect is going to be observed by the scale property that we have created at the top state property. And um, and we're gonna give it a foreground color. Maybe an orange would be good. And let's give it an animation with animation dot spring dot repeat forever auto reverse true. By the way, you can totally skip repeat, repeat forever auto reverse through reason i do it because when we are talking you can actually see that animation in motion um and like you know experience it more than one time uh during the video so you can actually see the effect that's why we do that okay on appear we're gonna put on a peer block um angle you're gonna have 360 so dot scale it's gonna be Plus equals two. Okay. So uh, one thing about um, this on appear. So if you sometimes this happens uh, that Xcode gets confused. If I just do like this and have on appear, it actually doesn't tend to recognize what the animation is. So for that reason. Um, Many times you're gonna see me like you know uh, typing this explicitly that this is animation dot spring in order to like you know resolve that issue that Xcode run into. Okay, with that let's go ahead and resume our view, our canvas, and uh, build succeeded. Let's go ahead and play this, and uh, you're gonna see the effect as like you know it's got a bit of um, of a bounce uh, that it has created. Okay, so um, that is like how you can use the spring animation, which is very different from all the all the curves, the timing curves that we have learned. Okay, in the next video, we're gonna take a look at another example of spring, but this time we're gonna actually use our damping spring um, 
values to define how we can actually create this effect with damping screen, uh, spring to uh, see how that affects our animation, okay? So I'll see you guys in the next video and we'll tackle that, all right? Thanks again for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.